What's going on my fellow YouTubers? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. So today, we have the first part of the frame done. Um, as you saw in the last video, showed you how to actually make this. Um, what we're replacing <clears throat> is this here. So we've got the frame rails, supports, you know. So now what we're going to build is this back part of the frame. Um, I've already kind of pre-cut the parts. They're sitting over here along with this one. Um, I'll show you the, the process on actually how I made these parts and my thought process of who, what, and why, and where, and all that fun stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. As you guys can see, we made this frame, if I can get it in the right spot, to kind of mimic the old frame. So now we need to build this notch part. Um, after cutting some trial angles and stuff like that, I just took the round stock, stuck it in here, and figured out that angle. Um, for me on this one, ended up being a 45 degree angle. And then I figured out the angle that this piece here, if I could show you, um, is going to run at. Um, that also ended up being a 45. So we have pieces with dual 45s. My camera will focus today. Um, running opposite directions for that piece. And then I just took this, stuck it down into here. And then just measured out, cut the piece, cut this length piece. Um, so let's get this thing built. Kind of show you what I do to kind of free float these parts. Um, I'm going to steal an extra piece here so I don't ruin my pretty board back there. So we're going to end up gluing these pieces. Um, let's see, I think right in line. No, just a hair on the outside. So they're going to be glued here, about halfway down that tube on uh, both sides. So get out our trusty uh, Tamiya Thin. Get a little bit on here. Let's start building this back half of the frame. Kind of hold this in place. Kind of free floating. So what we can do is we can take my same little squares that I absolutely love. <clears throat> Once that kind of dries a little bit more. Then we can make sure that it is all sitting at the right angle. That they're sitting square. All that fun stuff. So I'm going to get these glued on and dried. And I'll be right back as soon as those are uh, ready to go. Alright guys, so here we go. We've got those all glued up. They're nice and square. Straight. How they should be. Everything like that. Um, so what I've done. I know this is kind of cheap. I've got nice ones coming. As I've taken this measurement... So we can build this flat. I know, you know, we're not building it in air. It's not going to be crooked or lopsided or off square or anything like that. We're going to build it down here um, on a nice flat surface. So <clears throat> we need to get this measurement and this all put together. Um, they've got to be on a slight angle. And we got to keep this thing square. Um, so I'm going to tape down this back bar so it doesn't move on me. You should, I should mark the center of this bar, draw a straight line, um, you know, to make sure this is perfectly square. But I think we can do a good enough job eyeballing this. 
that we will be okay. Um, so back to our glue. We'll stick a little bit here to kind of get this weld going. Get this pressed into here. Same thing over here. Spin this around. We'll try to center this the best we can. Kind of eyeballing this. Let's see if we can center this in the camera so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to keep playing with these until. I like the angles. First, we gotta make sure we're matched up on that tube. So, what we're actually making here, if I can find the framework, um, is this back half around. So, we did the notch where the axle is gonna sit. Now, we're building this flat part here. You know that surrounds the uh, gas tank the back half of the frame rails so let's take a look at that so it's me looks like this one needs to come in and that one needs to go back out So there we go I'm pretty happy with those angles I'm gonna let that little bit of tack dry I'll pull this off um, in the meantime we're gonna start um, the front part of the frame um, I've been sitting here debating um, on what we're actually gonna do um, if we're going to do a tube frame on the front or this is the front end of the 2013 Mustang. Um, this is what we need to build from this point here, a little bit of down slope, and then this front part of the frame. Um, looking at it with this, we're pretty close to the dimensions on the width there. So I think we're just going to continue with the tube frame. Um, excuse me keeping it uh tube frame throughout this whole entire chassis so i'm not going to do a nice little bend or anything like that um i know this kind of sticks up you know let's see a little bit higher than what the thickness of this tube is so we're going to be okay there um so i'm just going to kind of what i'm thinking is i'll just go from this length going across here will mark here that's where we need to cut and I'll cut two of these over here to the cutter And it goes flying. Ugh. So we'll replicate another piece. Same exact length. Get it cut. Flying parts are always the funnest. And the other thing I think I'll do um, is on this end, I don't know how I got a piece of carpet, don't ask, um, is I'll cut a 45 degree angle, um, cutting these off. 
so easy enough. There's one cut. Need a second camera. And two cut. Alright, so there we go. Cut a nice little 45 degree angle. And that's what's going to lay here. So same thing. What we're gonna do put a little bit of glue. On there. And I'm going to use that piece to keep the frame rails nice and straight and uh, true height all the way across. So let those dry for a second. Just to kind of get them tacked this glue there's quite a bit of work time with this so i can kind of play with them as they dry we're going to make sure that we're lined up as this one falls we're lined up with the inside part of this frame those pieces This one is off, so we're just going to slide it over. And we can take my little squares, slide this kind of out of the way, drop one in here, and then we can look down and see that that's running where it should. Flip it that far, stick that back under. Excuse me, guys. We <clears throat> made sure those are running nice, square, parallel, how they should be. So we can come back to this piece now that it's kind of dried a little bit. We're going to add just a little bit more glue to make sure these get bonded nice and tight. So I'm going to get all this stuff glued up, get it all nice and tight, and then we will be right back. All right, guys. Well, here she is in her glory and whatever else you want to call it. Um, but it's done. Um, but you can see I had to slide back half of the frame a little bit forward just to fit. Oh, what did I do with it? Fit inside the body. So I didn't have to slide it too far, just enough to clear what I needed to. Um, you can see there is the front part of the frame sitting where it should. So everything's lining up like it should, everything's sitting how it should. Um, so now you guys can understand why lining up everything, getting all your frame marks, everything like that um, is important. I'm going to put my jig back underneath this. It's still a little soft, still wants to fall. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so now you guys see kind of what goes into a frame. Um, this is just the frame. Now taking regards, next time um, we'll probably start the rear suspension, getting it mocked up, um, getting all the tabs, all the mounts, um, stuff for the control arms figured out, everything like that. Um, video after that will probably work on the front end, getting the motor mounted, everything like that. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, until next time, this is Dragon Speed Shop, and I'm signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later.